Hello everyone, it's Leo, and it's finally time for us to talk about Oshiete Twinkle, the second Star Twinkle Precure ending, and the possible themes for 2020 Precure. Today I'm wearing my Spice Girls t-shirt, I got this while I was in London, when I went to Wembley to see the Spice Girls, like, this is a precious treasure to me, I'm very glad that I was able to get it. You're probably seeing it mirrored. But anyways, I'm very glad that I was able to, you know, live this moment. And I'm obviously with my twinkle stick because it is time for us to discuss Oshie the Twinkle and the possible themes for the next pre-cure season. So we're in 2019. When we had the second Hugto pre-cure ending, we looked for clues for the next season. And I remember that when I saw the lyrics and when I saw the ending itself, I believed that the next season would be, the next season themes would probably be idols or social media, because there are lots of hashtags and ads on the song, the lyrics of the song. I obviously got it all wrong. You know, I, I'm always wrong in my theories. I'm almost never, I think I never really hit a theory right, but I like to theorize, I like to think, I like to, you know, share my ideas. So I am going to share how I feel about Oshie the Twinkle, the themes of the song, let's discuss like the, the themes and what the song talks about and the philosophy behind the song. And then I will share with you what I think is the possible theme for 2020 Precure. Um, usually it feels like lately it has been harder to spot on the references and I don't really believe that the references they put in are actually intended like at least last year for Star Twinkle there are lots of symbols that appear on Star Twinkle but were they doing it on purpose with Hukto last time or not I don't know but you know there are some nice videos on here on YouTube you know sharing and showing some of the symbols they used on the second Hukto ending that appeared on Star Twinkle. So it's interesting to see those little things and to, you know, to try to find things. But I am really bad at it. But anyways, let's talk about our own views on Oshie the Twinkle. So first of all, you guys know I loved this ending. This is a very good one. Visually, it's perfect. I love the vaporwave feeling of it. I love the colors. I obviously love the song as well. And not only the rhythm and not only the singing voice, but I also like the theme of the song very much because the song Oshie the Twinkle talks a lot about curiosity and wanting to know more and wanting to learn things. And it's all told through a perspective of a kid, of a child. So all the questioning of the, the, the questionable personality of a child really shines through Oshie the Twinkle. So that's, that's like a very, interesting thing if you think about it because you know Precure is for children so children will relate to this song a lot. So basically the main theme of the song for me is curiosity and wanting to know more and being uh, sung through the kids lenses you know the kids perspective that's a very interesting point and right at the start of the song we started with a question that's usually done by kids which is where do babies come from and that question when it's done uh, by kids to adults, adults usually have a very hard time explaining that to children. And you know, there are lots of ways around this question, but I, I, with my experience with adults and kids, I see most adults don't answer that. They say, you will understand when you get older, but it's a very common thing among kids, wanting to know things and wanting to know where babies come from. There's another interesting line in this song, which is when Kira Soleil, like, not Kira Soleil herself, but you know, that's when she's dancing. Um, and then the, the singer asks, like, one plus one equals two, but I'm not really accepting that answer. And yes, obviously there are lots of jokes around like, oh, Elena doesn't know math and I'm bad, I'm as bad as math as Elena. You know, one plus one equals two, is it really the right answer? But how I feel about that is, is the, the way of a kid actually looking at an answer and not accepting a simple a simple answer, you know? They're not accepting that explanation as the ultimate, tr ultimate truth, truth, oh my God, ultimate truth, 
that's hard. <laughs> but anyway, they're not accepting that explanation, you know? It's not enough for them. And so they're just not accepting it. They're questioning it. And everything comes around with the, the fact that they're always questioning things. And by wanting to know more, there's a line in the song that they say, and well, that basically means like, I want to know, and I want to know, I want to know more. I, I really want to know more. And at the end of the line, they say that, that they're going to try to use telepathy for this, uh, for this, for them to learn more. And at another point of the song, they ask for the stars for answers, because usually, Adults don't have time for children and they don't have time for the questionable personalities of children that usually irritates adults a lot. So children know that they can't really ask adults about things because they, do, they usually don't have patience for um, the, the questions and the philosophies kids go through. And so they ask the stars. And stars is related a lot to Star Twinkle in many different ways and one of the main points of stars is being related to space which is the theme the theme of star twinkle but it can also be related to astrology because you know a way of seeing the world is actually looking at the stars for answers and for guidance and that is basically astrology and so people who can see the future people who can read cards or you know do some or like read the stars or even read like the 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 steams of co of a coffee cup to learn about the future are usually considered to have a strong mind which leads us back to telepathy and so it all comes down to fortune telling because that's how like reading the future and learning more about the future is basically it basically leads down to fortune telling for me so i really believe that fortune telling could be a theme for 2019. But if we actually think about it, Star Twinkle is not actually only using stars as in space, but there's a lot of astrology in Star Twinkle as well, because we have the 12 zodiac signs. We even have like at the end of the episode, we have like a weekly uh, tip for your star sign if it's featured, because there are only three star signs at the end of each episode of Star Twinkle. But you know, it feels like Star Twinkle is already dwelling a little bit on the theme of astrology. So I don't believe that they could repeat the astrology theme, but it was the only theme that I could think of when thinking about Oshieta Twinkle. But if we go a little bit further and elaborate on that a little bit, we go to the theme of wanting to know and wanting to discover things. And a person who does this a lot as a job is a detective. And so I was thinking that a detective themed season for Precure would be awesome. And I think that it would be like, it would be really nice. And they could even like merge the two themes in um, astrology and detectives. But I think that as they used Blue Cat as a thief in this season, they could go even further with this theme next week, next year, sorry, next year. They could go even further with this theme for next year and they could go for actually like a, a group of thieves in Precure's cases. Like they steal things, maybe like Carmen San Diego, they steal for good, like Robin Hood Precure or something like that, you know? But I would love to see that theme. And there's a lot of discovering and learning things in Carmen San Diego. They always look for um, things about the countries they're visiting and they learn about that. It's, it's actually a very educational show because when you watch it, you learn a lot about the places Carmen is visiting. And so, like, I'm talking about the the latest version that's on Netflix because I haven't, I don't really remember the earlier one, but I do know that the earlier one had lots of those educational moments as well. So Precure could use that, you know, Precure could use that to show like maybe art pieces or places of the world. I don't know, but it would be very fun to see. It would be very fun to watch. Uh, and so uh, I think that for me, the, the two possible themes for next year are astrology, even though it's already used in this season, and slash or detectives. 
why not? Um, so those are my ideas. If we look at the season itself, we could see more references like uh, the four seasons in the four girls transformations. Um, so maybe they would use that further on in the next season. I don't know, but it would be very fun to see. I would like to see that a lot. Like there's even a fan cure season that's very popular around the internet with very nice designs and great fan artwork that, um, that uses this, the four uh, seasons as reference to the cures and I love it. But anyways, those are my views and I think that it would be really nice if we could elaborate a little bit more. So uh, I think that next week I could do a video looking at the comments of this video and talking about your ideas. So if you have any ideas based on Oshie de Twinkle, based on the lyrics of the song or any reference you got on the visuals, just send them to me and just comment here or just send me a message on Twitter and I will include them here and we can talk about the theories. You know, we can talk about all the theories that are shared here on YouTube or in another social media you would like. So leave a comment and let's keep talking next week about your ideas as well. And I'm very excited for next year. Again, I think that Precure is always evolving, it's, it's always changing and it's always bringing us lots of joy. So you guys know. Like, it's a very important, it's always a very important time when a new Precure comes up. But, you know, there's a lot of Star Twinkle for us to enjoy yet. We're not even halfway through this season. So there is still a lot and I can't wait to see the next few steps on Star Twinkle Purikiba. Anyways guys, that was it. Please leave a comment with your ideas for next season. Like this video if you liked, if you liked those theory types of video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. We hit 1,500 subscribers. Oh my God, I'm very happy. Thank you guys. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.